Hello, welcome to all in this video session. Today I'm going to discuss a very important topic of SAP MM Procure to Pay. It's a very important topic. So for SAP point of view, we will discuss this topic. Okay. So P2P process is very essential process for every company. Okay. Procure to pay is very essential for the purchasing material also as well as services in respect of SAP MM because each and every company is depend on the services and materials supplied from the external vendor okay for the production of finished goods or uh, supply of third party services okay so p2p process is very important it is is very essential for any company as well as the department whole okay for a example if it in telecom company we need to supply the telecom equipments from the external vendors like uh, we are discussing Nokia, Ericsson's, Huawei, Samsung and all okay for the supply of the BTS and all the telecom equipments okay uh, we need to supply the SIM services from the external vendors okay we need to supply the installation services and all okay this is just for example of the telecom any telecom company okay and for the production company for motor vehicle company there is a different different process but need to follow the same process if sap mm is there okay procure to pay the first is is the purchase requisition okay this is a internal document of a company there is a no connection of this document with third party vendors or external vendors okay we need to create the purchase requisition for the material as well as services okay uh, there are so many type of the purchase requisition for example standard purchase requisition subcontract purchase requisition consignment purchase requisition stock transfer purchase requisition and external services purchase requisition okay this is the first stage of p2p process okay the second stage is the request for quotation okay <clears throat> this is the second stage of the p2p cycle rfq we generally say rfq okay so purchasing department or mm department of a company okay send the requirement that is the request for quotation to all the vendor for the best prices for for example if i am going to procure a material then i need to uh, send this rfq request uh, send the rfq request to all the vendors which are working in this field for the best price availability okay so rfq can be manual can be sent manually and can be sent with respect to purchase requisition getting my points can be sent manually can be with respect to purchase requisition getting my point so purchase department will send to all the vendor for the best prices okay the third one is third stage of p2p cycle is quotation okay with respect to request for the quotation all the vendors send the quotation okay to the company okay and company will see the quotation using me 47 or create the quotation with respect to me 47 and compare all the quotation prices using me 49 okay these two transaction code is very important me 47 and me 49 to compare all the quotation with respect to their price for the best price for procurement getting my points the fourth stage is purchase order this is a very important stage of p2p cycle okay so po is formal and legal document asking by vendor okay to supply the certain quantity of the material to certain plant within a prescribed time limit getting my points i repeat this again 
purchase order is a formal and legal as document which is asking by vendor to supply certain quantity of the material at the specific price to any plant within certain time period okay getting my points po is not only raised for the material but also raised for the services okay if any vendor has supplied the material then you can raise the po to them and if the vendor supplied the services then you can raise the purchase order getting my points po you can make for different different uh, process okay if you procure the material you can uh, raise the purchase order with respect to material created in the material master of the company okay if you can uh, procure the very specific project material then you can directly consume those material with respect to project and not in your inventory okay you can use the purchase order for the direct asset procurement process okay if you take in the services from the vendor then you can use the specific category of the purchase order like uh, in the service category uh, item category d is there okay getting my points so if you want to create the purchase order with respect to uh, stock transportation order okay for example um within a company we are procuring the material from one plant to another plant within a company okay then you need to generate a stock transport order that is sto okay so in sap mm there is a various uh, procedure um, provision to create the purchase order for the different different types of the requirement okay so this is very important uh, phase of the p2p process okay the fifth one is zrn okay good receipt note okay so after conf confirmation of this is the confirmation that a vendor has supplied the material okay within a certain time period and for the specific price okay in this case uh, there is a might be possibility that vendor has supplied uh, full quantity of the material as per the purchase order or partially fill documents partially fill material to the for example 100 quantity i border but vendor has supplied the 50 quantity then rest of the 50 quantity will supply to the if in the future are the for the 50 uh, next 50 quantity vendor has written something to the company okay so uh, this is very important process okay so some of the times if the multiple materials quantity then groups of the uh, grn you can receive okay and good receipt note you can generate using the transaction code migo in sap mm there is a very nice transaction code uh, migo good receipt note with respect to purchase order okay using movement type 101 so you can do this okay once you do good receipt note a mm document will generate and subsequently a accounting document will generate okay that will be helpful during the next process okay the next process is the logistic invoice verification okay uh, this is the part of sap mm but it is closely related to fico okay fi and co financial and controlling okay so in this process we will do this vendor in vendor has supplied the invoice with respect to good receipt note so we will do the invoice verification with respect to transaction code miro miro okay here we will issue the credit memos for the material reversal or we will do the invoice reversal okay so after this process miro we will do the vendor payment okay for any company any plant for any company any plant co company will do the payments to all its vendor with respect to supply of the material and the services so after doing uh, after the completion of miro uh, the company has own choices and methods to do the payment with respect to uh, by using a check or any electronically mod transfer okay so 
precisely if i am seeing the p2p process the logistic invoice verification is the last steps last step of this cycle but vendor payment is done after this stage so this is also very important okay so p2p process is very important we have discussed the p2p process with respect to sap mm okay okay so thank you for watching this video okay please like share and subscribe this video okay for better understanding how to uh, procure to pay process is this okay thanks for watching have a nice day and if you have any query in your mind then please free to do comment okay thank you